Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with a monthly favorite. So this is the November favorites of 2019. I think we just get started. I have a few products to talk about. It actually looks like more <laughs> than I thought it was going to be. But yeah, I think we just get started. So I am going to start with some base products. I do not going to talk about any skincare products this month. I think I just need to... <sighs> Let's start to talk about some face products, or it's two face products. And it is two highlighters, or maybe more than two. First of all, I just want to mention... I don't think I can hold all of them. Um, the Kaleidos highlighters. I got this in PR. So thankful for that and I have done a mini series with these. I think all the parts are up. So I really really like them. I think my favorites are Ray Rider, Comet Catcher and Star Surfer but I like them all. They are so fun to play with and I really like how they look. So these has been a favorite for me this month. I really really like them. The other highlighter favorite I have had is the one that I have on today and that is this one from Lunar Beauty. I love this. First when I saw this packaging I was like that looks ugly but hello this looks beautiful. I hope you can see it. I have in the color Mercury and this is absolutely one of my favorite highlighters. It looks like this. I hope you can see it. It is amazing. And I can really recommend these. And another thing that I have really liked from Lunar Beauty is the Moonspell palette. I can leave my first impression up here. I fell in love with the packaging and the inside I wasn't convinced about at first, but it looks better in person and the shades are really really good. This is like the most beautiful palette I have and I just... I love this palette so much. It is such a unique and cool box and layout and everything and this is such a good eyeshadow palette. I really 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 love it. And I'm going to talk about two more palettes. One of them is the palette I have used to do this look. And it's The Whale Song from Minari. And yes, I have had this for a while. But I have done three looks, one palette with this now. And I am like, this is so good. I need to use this more. It looks like this. If you didn't know, I... I just love it. It is such a good palette. The shadows are great and I really love it. Uh, so this has been a favorite now the last two weeks in November uh, when I have done my Free Looks One palette. And the last eyeshadow palette is also an oldie but goldie and it's the Infinity Deep by Linda Holberg. And I have a look that I have done three times I think with this and two in November and I really like that look. It's like my go-to a little bit more glam and I now in November I have been like I really really like this look and I use this one and I use Solar, Lightyear and Fornex and that's all I need and I just love it. I really really love this palette. I need to use it more because it is an amazing palette. I think this is maybe going to be one of my go-to palettes because I love all the colors and it is such a good palette. And I have also liked to use this Mars as an highlight, no, as an highlight, as an blush. So that I can really recommend if you have this palette, try this Mars as a blush, it's beautiful. So this has been a favorite of mine and especially for next light year and solar. It makes a super good gold smoky eye 
And then I have two brushes that I have really liked. One is from Kaleidos. Okay, they both are from Kaleidos. One of them is their highlight brush. I thought that I was not going to like this that much because it is bigger than I usually use and it's like thicker. I can I I usually use this one, so it's more like fluffy and bigger. But I like this, it is really good and I have washed this and it still look great. So this one really like. And the other brush from Kaleidos, this is one of my absolute favorite brushes right now. It's the S5 and it's, it is this small little brush. I use it underneath my eyes and I love it so much. It's perfect for that. It's small but it's compact but not too compact and it's not too fluffy I can really 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 recommend this if you want a small blending brush underneath your eyes this month I have used this so so much like every time I have done my under eyes I've used this or my trusty favorite from Makeup Geek but this one if you are going to buy one brush from Kaleidos buy this one and okay, to the last favorite thing for this month is a pen from Colourpop and this is Crybaby. I haven't used this much at all, uh, but I have now and I really like it. It is like a lavender... lavender? Why can I never remember this? Lavender. It's purple, but it's not too purple, but it's not like too light and it's not too white. It's just perfect I really like it and I think this goes good with both a dark look and a light look and this I really love this during November and yeah that was all my favorites for November and I see no lip products and I was like picking out my favorites and I don't know if I have used a lipstick more than once this month maybe I have but I have no like this is really favorite for this month. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and as always my favorite videos are pretty short because I don't have that many favorites to talk about and I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!